He's not on the property anymore. He's now on Biffle's Hook. He's just resting. All those lights that you can see, those are spotlights. It's like he's, well, I suppose he is center on stage this evening. <clears throat> he's just taking a little break. You can see he's panting slightly. He's not moving slowly, so he'll be feeling nice and warm. Oh, and up again. Are you going to come towards us, Mr. T? Let's wait for him. Let's try and see where exactly he's going to go. Maybe he likes us. I think the leopards do enjoy the wild earth guides. We always have such fantastic sightings of them and up close and personal experiences. Where's he going? Oh, <laughs> you can't see it because it's behind the car. I can just see a bush willow bouncing up and down. So he's obviously jumping up and into it again. I think he's going to come back here. Yes, here he comes, straight through the bushes. Now, William, who's from South Africa and is only seven years old, you're wondering what do leopards eat the most? Well, William, anything that they can catch, but Tingana seems to enjoy catching warthogs. He's a specialist at catching warthogs. He's going to walk right past the car again. Um, but he'll eat Dako, which is a small antelope. He'll eat Stiernbok, Impala, Inyala. He'll catch anything that he can. But remember, leopards aren't very good hunters. None of the cats are actually the greatest hunters, unfortunately. What's she doing there? Just going back and marking. Now, opportunistic feeders. So they take every opportunity that they can get. Let me quickly turn around for you, Craigie. I can't see. Sorry, I'm blinded by the presenter light. I don't know where I'm going now. And the car won't go into reverse either. Uh, okay, you have to help me if I need to go back because I actually can't see a thing. Ah, and I'm blind! Gonna dim my light. Oh, I suppose we can have them on. And there he is again, just marking. What amazes me is how much urine they actually have. I think it's amazing. And you obviously see it with leopards and lions continuously moving about, spraying up against the trees. However, rhinoceros, my goodness, the amount of urine that they spray in one go is amazing. It's almost like a couple of liters every single time. Well, it looks like that. That always amazes me. I'm trying to think if we can go around him. No, we can't grow here just yet. I can maybe go once he goes past this turn around, I might be able to sneak around and we can thing again, again, get a, a view of him. Okay, Craig, let's go off road, but I need to go to low range, but I bet it hasn't, no. Gonna be rough with this car. Can't be gentle with her. Please don't be any. I think there's a log here too, is it? No, it's not a log. Try and find a nice gap. Please don't be any aardvark holes that I'm going to fall into. That won't be too nice. Watch out, Craig. Got myself caught just slightly on the tree. <laughs> There's just a little bit of this tree that I'm stuck on. There we go. I'm out. Goodness gracious. Now I need my lights on to be able to see what's going on here. gonna have to go the scenic way around. Let me just put some more on so I don't drive over any big stumps. It's actually really warm up here now. Stand up so I can see. Okay, we'll go through one more set of. We'll try and find a gap off here to the left. Let 
He's coming quickly though. I don't know if I'm going to be quick enough. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Okay. We're in front of him. Goodness gracious, why do you have to be like the Titanic today? See all the cars and all their lights. We've got no lights on now, just the presenter light that's on me. That is so beautiful. Tsingana, should we actually go out of infrared to show them how lovely this is? What do you think, Craig? Look at this, this will be nice, beautiful backlit leopard. Wonderful. Right, we're going to send you across to Ali. She's found something that comes out of the water at night.